Okay, so it's great that you can draw a, um, a DFA, and in fact, I'm going to um, stop displaying the state labels. Um, but being able to draw a nice DFA is nice if you want to turn in a homework or something, but the cool thing starts when you actually discover that um, uh, JFLAP lets you do things like test a string and see if it gets accepted by the uh, DFA. So the first way we're going to do that is um, doing a um, step through of a string. So you can go to the input menu and you can say step by state and you can type some input. So you could type like let's try AABBB and you can say click to open input file. Oops, I don't want input file. Sorry, I'll show you that later. Um, and say OK. And now you get something that's very similar to a debugger. And in fact, in this um, second window that I've got the uh, labels pop up, I'm going to just right click and hide the state labels right now. Um, but so what you can do is you can step through just like you're in a debugger. So we start and the system has bolded. I don't know how easily you can see this, but, but these letters are all bolded, all the letters, and that means we haven't been anywhere yet. We haven't processed any of these letters in our string, and we're at state Q0. And now you can say step, and um, after a step, we are still at Q0, right? We process that first A, and if you look in here, I don't know if you can see, but the first A is sort of grayed out, and the rest of the string is darker. We can step again, and of course we looped back to Q0 again. Now we have a B as the next letter to process, so we should go over to Q1, and if I step, look, it says we're at Q1. We have another B, and now we're at Q2, and we have our final B, and we go back to Q1, and the screen turns green, woohoo, we win, right? Um, and another thing you can do is you can say, well, let me see a trace of that. So you stick in your big long string, Oops, um, I said trace and it says select at least one configuration. This is actually really good to show you. Maybe it was by design. Um, what you need to do is you actually need to click on this um, string here. And now I can say trace and a window popped up out of your view, but here it is. Um, and that shows you, can I show you this so that you can see stuff somehow? Um, that shows you that uh, we started with this string and all the letters are bold and we were at Q0 and then we processed the first A and we're at Q0 and we processed the second A, we're at Q0 and so on. So it gives you sort of a step through this whole process. So let's close that for a minute. And as you saw a minute ago, you can also um, trace a string that you have in a text file. So here I have a text file. Um, called alternate text file text that has, um, oh, well, that's a little bit annoying. I don't want the same file string. Let's try just the BBB. And let me um, move these guys to the bottom of the file. Um, and I'm going to save this file. Um, and what if I go to the file menu here and, oops, sorry, the input menu, and I say step by state. Remember right now we're doing step by state. Um, you can click to open an input file, and I'm going to go into my alternate text file. And what it does is it takes whatever the first string was that was in your file list, and it will um, and it will let you step through that. So I can click on this now, and I can say trace, and it will give me. Whoa. My trace is pretty crummy. I guess what I have to do is before I do the trace, I need to um, I need to step through it at least once. So let's step and step again and step again and look, we win. Um, and now if I say trace, oops, it says select at least one configuration. I click on the um, on this window and I say trace, and now it actually shows me the whole trace. Right, so that's good. Um, and then, of course, I have a couple. You can see I have the editor where I can um, change my um, change my DFA. But while I'm in simulate mode, it's not going to let me switch to the editor tab because you don't want to be able to change your 
um, change your DFA while you're in the middle of these simulations. Um, so you do need to close out both of these um, tabs uh, to do this. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh, let me just show you real quick what happens um, if you run a test on a, um, if you do step by state and we do input on a string that's not in the language. So like, how's about the string with five A's, right? I'll say OK. And if I step through this, you can see I process each of the A's. Um, and it's finished processing the string. Um, I actually need to, for sort of technical reasons that we'll understand better when we um, when we learn about NFAs coming up soon, I have to hit the step button one more time and then we get this this red screen here saying, nope, there's no way for me to get that. And if I close this out and close this one, I'm back in the editor and I can change things around if I want. I can add um, new, new states and new um, transitions 